far would you go for affordable health care? Seems more Americans are finding and looking for help outside the U.S. More on that right after this. Well, more Americans are going the extra mile for affordable health care. With some insurance companies promoting treatment in foreign lands. Louise Pinnell has that story. David and Liz, it would seem uh, going to a third world country now doesn't necessarily mean third world treatment. In fact, in many cases, places like Mexico, Thailand or even India, technology in hospitals are even better than here in the United States. So there's no wonder that medical tourism is a growing business. Last year, more than 150,000 Americans went abroad for medical care. And as medical costs continue to soar, so too has medical tourism. The Los Angeles-based Planet Hospital connects patients with 38 hospitals in 13 different countries, sometimes offering a cost saving of up to 80%. The quality of the hospitals, definitely. They're also able to have uh, surgical techniques, uh, medications, prosthesis that are not available in the U.S., for example. Uh, however, created in the U.S., just not available here. The Snow Summit Ski Corporation is one of the first employers to offer medical tourism to its 120 full-time staff. It's not only a cheaper alternative for the company, but the employees benefit from the savings. And whatever cost savings the company will achieve will be uh, shared with all participants. So uh, it's a very win-win kind of a situation. And while the larger insurance companies have been slow to include medical tourism policies, some are beginning to reimburse members for overseas procedures. Blue Shield of California now offers cross-border coverage in Mexico, which allows a 40% saving on insurance premiums. There's some potential there, and I think it's a potential new avenue of, of um, growth.